Hey guys, there were two indicators we discussed during the day today and a couple of you guys asked me if I can post the link to it. I will uh, post it in the toss uh, script section. Uh, I just wanted to show a quick, uh, you know, two or three minutes video on each of them on how to use it, right? So the first one is called the shared fractal and um, so what you would do is you would go and look for shared fractal modified and um, add it and one of the things I do is I only use a subsection of it because I don't think the other ones are that important so I actually don't care about the support line I actually uncheck all of these at the end but you can play around with it uh, as you think is appropriate right and I leave the pivot type pivot high line I don't need the resistance I don't need the resistance extension and I leave this on so so everything with P's is uh, checked and everything else is unchecked when you apply it and hit OK button right so this is what you get in essence you don't have to worry about dry, drawing the automatic uh, you know support and resistance points it'll automatically uh, put in the values of pivot highs and pivot lows for you. So how, how can you take advantage of it? Clearly, you know, this is one case where, um, you know, once it broke out of this uh, pivot, you could actually take a long, right? And uh, we can look at some other examples. And this works on any time frame. So this is AAXN, which is another decent example, right? So the previous high on this was 71. Um, after 70, hitting 71, it retraced, went back, and I was actually in this trade, kind of got stuck at a fairly high point on this, right? But I stayed with it, and now, uh, today or yesterday, it actually took out this pivot point, right? And um, it, it did also follow through today. And so the purple lines obviously are the, <clears throat> you know, the standard channels on it. So that just helps you with projections, and you can project it going to at least 77, um, at least from, you know, from how I read it. And this, this is something that you can look at on um, multiple time frames. We can look at a couple other examples as well. Let's look at UAL. And uh, again, as you see, this once it broke 75.53, it really took off, right? So even though this was driven by earnings, but you could have, you know, taken it once it broke this pivot. And uh, you, you can just go on and on, but uh, you can just play around with it and get a quick feel of how this thing works. Um, so again, this is the, you can see the uh, support point here and uh, we can move it to a different time frame as well, right? So you can go and look at it on a more granular time basis and see what's going on. So again, on the hourly basis, here's what you look like. So if you were playing the chart on, uh, or trading on the hourly basis, you know, a clean break of 125.93, that's something that you could uh, use for going long on the stock. So just play around with it and hopefully this helps. Thanks guys.